so I'm at Walmart. We're gonna see what they have for preemie. Cause we got ourselves a preemie girl. And oh, this is cute. This isn't preemie. Oh, I like that. Oh, I think that would be adorable on her. Let's see what they have. Lemons, uh, flowers. Uh, I'm not really feeling those too much. Oh, Easter is gonna be, I'm gonna be a day after Easter with this video. Hmm, I found that outfit in preemie. This is preemie as well, oh my gosh. I do like this purple fish sleeper. Let's see what they have over here. It's kind of a mess, it's not so organized as it was the other day. I don't really see too many small sleepers there. Let's see what the Gerber wall has. What does Gerber have? Oh, they got some cute stuff. Hmm. Oh, I like that dog one, but I don't need boy stuff. I need preemie girl. Hmm. There's our new baby girl. If you haven't seen her box opening, make sure to click the pinned video in the comment area on this video because that's her box opening. She wears preemie, and at Walmart, I found this super cute, uh, just, it's a ch Carter's child of mine. Came in preemie size, it's amazing. And then this super cute two-piece set came in preemie size as well. Absolutely love it, so I picked those up for her. I saw these a long time ago at Walmart, and then I saw Tamoriel start opening them on her channel, and I thought they were so cute, and I was like, I gotta get me some. And I don't really go to Walmart that often. When I do, I tend to forget to go to the toy section. But um, I, gr I went over there, and these are only $4.98, the Pop Art Elephants. So I got four of these, and I'm gonna open them in a live, which will be tonight's live, it's Saturday. Uh, Sunday, so um, if you guys want to watch it, go check out my Sunday live. Actually, I'll put that video link in the comment area as well so you guys can watch it. So the new baby is on the table, the work table, because she's going to get some work done. Jackie's going to be redoing her eyelashes for me. And quickly adding a few hairs to her hairline, just the front of it right here, to bring it down just a little bit. Isn't she so adorable? I just absolutely adore her. I cannot wait to see her with a better set of lashes and a lower little front head. All right, she's had a fresh bath. Her hair is done and it looks so nice. Look at that, she's got a proper hairline. Jackie did a beautiful job. She's even got a little wave right there. She got new eyelashes as well. Um, so there they are, they're very baby fine, but yet they're still thick at the same time, but individually rooted, they look so nice. I'm getting ready to go live and she's gonna get dressed there. Look at her little tummy. We're gonna be putting on this little bunny sleeper. So uh, yeah, check out the night before live to see her getting ready. So here is our sweet baby sleeping. She is in the uh, vintage mini crib that I picked up last week. Doesn't she look so adorable? That uh, extension of her hairline that Jackie gave her really made a difference. So we're gonna get her out and get her dressed for the day. But before then, here is your moment to get an extra entry into the giveaway for Silicone Baby Pepper 1.0. There's Pepper 2.0 over there hanging out. Hi, cutie. So if you want an extra entry to win this baby, you want to go to the original giveaway video which there's a comment that is pinned on this video. That is the, vi the original giveaway video for Pepper 1.0. If you haven't done what you need to do in the giveaway video to first get entered into the giveaway, make sure to watch that video completely. Now in the comment area of the giveaway video, which again is the pinned comment on this video, you'll want to answer this question. If money wasn't an issue, where in the world would you go and why? By doing that, you should now have a total of three entries to win Pepper 
If you never want to miss out on the random giveaway entries, just make sure to click the notification bell so you don't miss a video from us because within my videos will be ways to get extra entries to win Pepper 1.0. So here is little Miss Baby. I powdered her um, before getting her dress. She's super shiny and the reason you didn't see me powder her is because silicone powder is not safe for you to breathe. So I went and powdered her out in the garage. It's definitely not a product I recommend anybody be using, using if you're not wearing any special breathing apparatus because it's not safe for you to be breathing in silica powder and stuff like that. Just do your research first to keep yourself safe while playing with these dolls. Because I often wonder why our doll product, at least any of the doll product I purchase, doesn't tell me what's inside it. I mean, what it's made out of. See, I bought this doll, this dung doll, you know, my little clown baby, and it tells me everything she's made out of, and it actually tells me where she came from. And those are good things to know about your product, because you should know what, what's in it, and you should know where it's from. Because at the end of the day, we all got to keep ourselves safe. Even if it's playing with cute stuff, you still got to know what you're playing with. Just so I'm not talking about dolls, we can look at the Wubba Noob. See right there, it tells you it's made out of polyester fibers, pacifier, 100% medical grade silicone. It's just good information to know when you're buying things. You know, what, what's in it and where it comes from. So this sweet little baby got a name last night. Her name is America and her middle name is Birdie. So she's America Birdie Ortiz. And then her nickname is Lady. Oh my gosh, it's like the first baby in a long time that has a middle name and then a nickname. I don't think I've ever had a baby with a nickname. Now, before I get a lot of people's hopes up with this doll, we will not be using her drink and wet system. Oh, and trust me, I really wanted to use her drink and wet system, but I'm still living in H-E double hockey stick from trying to use her drink and wet system the night before. I thought I would test out little girl's system and comes to find out well i wanted to show you guys but i can't but in her mouth is where the tube is right and when this silicone sculptor created her they just put the tube in there and did not glue around the tube so there are gaping holes on both sides of the tube probably on top of it and below it but i can just see on both sides so when you do the bottle the milk not only goes in the tube, but it goes in her silicone body on the sides of the tube. And I don't know how long or how far this milk is going into her body or the water. So since her mouth is not properly done, uh, just by putting water in there to do the drinking wet, the water is going on the sides of the, of the um, it's a pipe in there. It's like a little clear PVC pipe, a bendable, flexible pipe. It's a tubing, kind of like a straw. So since it's not sealed on either side of that, the fluid goes on the side of it and it goes in it. And like I said, I don't know how far it goes into her body, but just by having that going in her body and it not coming out, it's going to cause molding. So we won't be using her drinking wet system. Um, yeah, we're just not going to be doing that. It's not worth the risk of her molding. Other than that, she's awesome. I think she's a wonderful doll super happy with her uh, I like her a lot so we're gonna put on one of her new outfits that she got which I didn't show you guys she did get this one I showed in the live last night so she got this one and then we got some headbands so we're gonna put on I think we'll put on this one I think this one is so adorable Every time I think about Baby America's name, I think about, have you guys seen that movie where the baby's born inside of Walmart? And uh, I think she names her Americus. And um, <laughs> it's 
just every time I, I think of her name, I just think of that movie. It's so funny. I almost thought about calling her Americus, but I was like, nah, we'll just do America. I like it. Okay, I think the bow might be going to be too big for your head. Oh, just a tiny bit, which is fine. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Look at this little girl. Oh, she's just so adorable. This outfit fits her perfect. So it was preemie, and I picked it up at Walmart. It's only like $9.98 or $10.98, actually. $10.98. Can you believe how cheap it is? Such a nice outfit, and it's that nice cotton. It even had freaking buttons on the back. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. I hope you guys have a great day. Remember to stay safe, stay positive, and don't give in to the negativity. We will be back soon. Love you guys so much. Bye.